Hello everyone. In this plate tectonics video, we're going to be looking at the convergent plate movement. Now specifically, we're going to be looking at a collisional plate boundary. With collisional plate boundaries, it's important to remember that the plates have the same density, so they have to be oceanic or an oceanic or continental and continental. Now what happens is that the convection currents move towards each other, and this is why it's called a convergent plate boundary. And as they move towards each other, they generate friction between the convection currents and the Earth's crust. And this friction drags the plates towards each other. Now in the example that I've given over here, I've put down the Eurasian and the Indian plate. This is one of the main examples of a collisional plate boundary. However, there are also others. Now what happens when these two plates move towards each other, because they have the same density, they do not become subducted like they do in a destructive plate boundary, but instead they collide and they squish and they fold together. This is why collisional plate boundaries form some of the largest fold mountain systems that we have in the world. For example, the Himalaya Mountains. And as you can see in this little animation over here, when these plates move towards each other, like I mentioned, they push upwards and also a little bit downwards as well, and they create this very, very thick section of crust. In the following video, you can see the um, continent of India as it was moving towards the Eurasian continent, and then as it comes in collision with it, it gets pushed upwards forming the Himalayan mountain ranges, and Mount Everest specifically. Thank you very much for watching, I hope you've enjoyed this video, if you have, please like, and if you'd like to see more content of this variety, please subscribe for future videos. Thank you again, and have a great day.